All right, loving this weather that Santa brought, uh, mm -hmm. but all good things must come to an end. I tell everybody, it, it may be fun to have winter, you know, coming with these warmer temperatures, and we can all spend time outdoors. I've seen a lot of people on the on the walking paths oh, yeah. out there. I'm yeah. like, oh, 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 enjoy it, because eventually that pendulum is going to swing, yeah. and we are going to be paying for it yeah. big time. Yeah, come next week. Winter is finally back in, mm. and it's going to stick around. But at least for now, we can talk about warm weather and enjoy it and, you know, just, well, do what we can with it. Especially considering that in seven, eight short days, we'll be talking about the complete opposite of these temperatures getting down to freezing. So on the max track, we've got our first cold front of three, believe it or not, and all three are not going to bring our temperatures down to winter standards. In fact, where these storms are coming from, basically the four corners where there is a lot of cold air, but it's not going to transport that cold air our way. In fact, it's all going to moderate out by the time it gets to us. So the first front coming through very weak, it's only digging into a little bit of moisture to where some showers are going to come through kind of overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. Behind it, a little bit of high pressure and then a warm front with storm number two. So that's how we're going to go through at least the next 24 hours. We see that high pressure. It does not clear the clouds out at all. First wave of rain comes through middle of the day tomorrow. Then the cold front will bring it in late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Remember, that's cold front number two. You see that low getting its act together, and that's going to be our best chance for rain. Kind of in the later part of the day on Wednesday, all wrapping up Thursday morning. So a lot going on in just three days' time. This isn't going to stretch out over three weeks. This is three storms basically in three days. So a lot going on. Very active weather. The good news is... Uh, we're not going to see a lot of thunderstorm activity out of this, but there will be some to talk about, especially with the initial wave coming through in the middle of the day tomorrow and then again on the cold front portion of that second storm. So beyond maybe late in the day, Wednesday, kind of getting into early morning on Thursday, that's going to be that, that last and final wave, and that's the one that's going to have the best chance for rain. Obviously, it's top of the state down to the bottom. But embedded within this, going to be a lot of thunderstorm activity, and that's the one we got to watch out for. Other than that, it's cloud coverage that will eventually decrease throughout the day on Thursday. We'll get a little sunshine coming back on the last day of the year. And other than all this rain coming in, which could total anywhere between a half of an inch and up to three with all of that rain coming through, that's really all we have to worry about because temperatures are not cooling just yet. They will cool slightly. I'm talking to 67 down to 58, only a 10 degree drop, and that's over the course of a couple of storms. But it's the drop that comes in over the weekend, the first weekend of the new year and the first front of the new year. That's the one that's going to do it. But the warmth that we've had before it is record at least tying on Christmas Day. 70 degrees was a tied record from 1982. Today, 68 degrees got pretty close to 70, but not quite there. And 64 tomorrow is going to get close to that 67. Won't quite do it, but it's showing you that we are close. And that is impressive. So your eight-day forecast will show that the activity is ramping up for the middle of this week, even into the end. But we get rid of the showers on Thursday, the cold air not really sliding in just yet. As we're getting into the new year, we keep it warm on Saturday with the cold front coming through. But then immediately that cold air slides in, maybe even a little bit of snow potential on the back end of that system as those temperatures continue to fall throughout the day on Sunday. And fall they will. We're all the way down to the teens Monday morning. And the best we do, a couple of degrees above freezing on Monday.